My name's Nathan Golan. I'm a director of photography for Good Fight Media in Washington, D.C. And we do a variety of projects. We do documentaries, we do commercials, um, and we do some fiction. We're constantly trying to push a cinematic look in even the verite documentary work that we do. I've been looking for a lens that would allow me to cover verite scenes in a way that I wouldn't need to be changing lenses during the scene. The 18 to 80 gives me the ability to cover the entire scene. I could have five, six people talking in my frame and then going to the long end of the 80 allows me to essentially get portraits. The lens is obviously lightweight and the image stabilization allows me to move with it in a way that I probably couldn't with lenses that aren't image stabilized, particularly at the long end. Once I get past 35 into 50, 80, um, it's really hard to hold that lens steady. And with the image stabilization on this lens, everything tends to stay smoother, whether you're tired, whether you're cold, whether there's a big moment that you've been waiting for all day and you're nervous that you just don't notice the shake, whether it's at the wide end or the long end. The fact that I can get the coverage that I get out of this lens and the image stabilization to be able to keep it perfectly steady is really huge for me. The wide angle looked good. I didn't see any warping around the edges, which is really important to me. The ability to get that wide when covering a scene, particularly in verite style, is really important. So the fact that this lens gets out as wide as it does at 18 is great for me. I can't imagine not having a constant f-stop through the zoom range. The fact that I can hand over footage to an editor that quickly moves from a wide to a tight or a tight to a medium and the f-stop isn't changing and the exposure and the focus stay the same is really helpful. With this lens, all of the controls are super smooth. The zoom on the lens is really smooth. The iris is really smooth. It just feels like a really well-built lens that's made for cinema. I really like to shoot keeping my subject separated from the background. And I, I was pleasantly surprised. The focus fall off is really quite nice, both when you're wide and especially when you get to the longer end of that lens. Even at a 4.4, there is a really nice, pleasing fall off in the focus. I don't often shoot on my shoulder. I prefer the kind of movement that I get when I'm shooting in front of me. I can use my legs to dip, to go from side to side, to go up, to go down. And when I'm on my shoulder, I'm a little bit more locked in. And this lens has the, the zoom rocker on the side, which I'm sure is fantastic for people when they're up on their shoulder. But for me, it was great that I could take it off because then my rig gets lighter, uh, my lens gets easier to handle when it's out in front of me. And I'm just glad Canon thought of that to be able to put this thing on and then take it off just as easily. The focus works more similarly to the cinema lenses. So now, rather than trying to constantly feel the difference between the small turns it takes with the L series and the bigger turns it takes with the cinema lenses, these two are closer together. So I, I'm not missing focuses often. I know how long it's gonna take for me to go from one focus point to the other. I think the tension level on the rings of the lens is just right. It's really smooth. I didn't feel any hitches, it didn't go too fast. So changing from one setting to another, whether it's my focus, whether it's my zoom, was really easy to do and hit the spot that I wanted to hit. I feel like people are gonna really like this lens because it saves time from the lens changes, but it also gives you cinema quality glass in a zoom. And before you were relying on an L series to shoot cinematic content, um, and now you're using a cinema lens where you have just one lens and you have 18 to 80. And to be able to match that with something like the Canon Cinema Primes is, is great for shooters that don't have a lot of help on set, particularly people who are doc doing documentary. You can have that 18 to 80 on your camera and then have maybe a 24 millimeter prime 1.4 in your belt. So you're not carrying a lot of lenses and you have a ton of versatility in terms of both the really wide open f-stop on a cine lens for low light situations. And then when you're running and gunning, you have 18 to 80 at um, f4 image stabilized on your zoom lens. And for me, that's, that's as much as I could ask for in those situations. I have a series coming up in rural Mexico. It's probably about a six, seven hour drive from the closest city. We're going to need to keep our kit down so that we're not carrying a lot of gear in difficult areas. So I've spent quite some time trying to figure out exactly the right kit for this project. And 
When I saw the 18 to 80, I was really curious because it's light, it has a really good zoom range on it, it has the image stabilization, and I can use it to match my cinema glass. And with this project, we're gonna be moving constantly. We're going to be doing a lot of walking, we're going to be chasing our subject, and this lens is really perfect for being able to do that. It allows me to focus more on what I'm shooting and less on how I'm doing it. I don't need to worry about the camera shake. I don't need to worry about switching lenses. I don't need to worry about whether or not my lenses are gonna match. Um, so anytime you can eliminate those kind of extra concerns, it's really helpful and it allows you to focus more on what you're creating.